so here beta today's chapter is stoichiometry and in stoichiometry we can also study that reacting mass calculation so that means the reaction will be given to you their mass will be given to you mass of reactant and product will be given to you okay so that means that uh, you can also assign a simple ratio between them and also <coughs> simple ratio that will be just to calculate that reacting masses and product masses okay so firstly if you want to consider the reactant mass suppose that this this uh, question that will is, that is given when 12 gram of carbon is burned in air 44 gram of carbon dioxide is produced what mass of carbon is needed if 11 gram of carbon dioxide will be produced okay, okay. so 11 4 is a 44 and 4 3 is a 12 3 gram of that will be so there are many ways to solve this one only single method that is your unitary method okay <clears throat> unitary method so okay. here you can see that they are also saying that means you with, with the help of unitary method or directly proportion or indirectly proportion you will also be able to solve this question so give me one second i'm explaining that to you give, let me take my graphic tablet means let me on my graphic tablet again give me one Are you able to see on your screen? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Question is that 12 gram of carbon is burnt. So, firstly, reaction you have to write there carbon plus oxygen that will give you CO2. Okay? Okay. So, it is your basic reaction now they are saying that you can also apply unitary method over there to get your efficient answer so like uh, when 12 gram of carbon was there then the carbon dioxide was 44 gram okay okay and uh, when there will be <coughs> 11 gram then what will be carbon okay Okay. So it is your question. You can consider that uh, let the amount of carbon be x. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now you can uh, use your mind in this way like 12 gram carbon. Okay, 44 gram of carbon dioxide was there. Then amount of carbon was 12. When the amount of carbon dioxide that will be less, then amount of carbon will also less or not. Yeah. yeah so you can also understand like uh, up to down means either you can write like uh, less to less to more or more to less and also here will be more to less okay okay and then you can write in this way always in this type of question always in the uh, uh, miss uh, directly proportion or proportional questions you just have to uh, apply your means arrows and then you have to write head to tail okay so oh, head, yeah. head to tail that means x upon 12 that is equals to 11 upon 44 okay okay then by cross multiplication x equals to 11 by 
44 multiplied by 12 okay because that 12 will will transfer on the side then it will be multiplied in numerator so now you can solve this one 11 ones are 11 11 fours are 44 and then 4 ones are 4 4 threes are 12 so that means x equals to 3 and that is your perfect answer do you understand this? Yeah. Yeah. Now you are seeing a next type of question again in downwards before getting answer. You can see here they are asking when 5 gram of calcium carbonate is decomposed okay so first we have to write your reaction CaCO3 when it will decompose by heating okay decomposition reaction that will only be possible when there will be heating okay yeah, yeah. so in that way calcium carbonate so they are saying that uh, when calcium carbonate is decomposed that mm, uh, first will be carbon dioxide and calcium oxide okay understand yeah, yeah. so now it is your basic reaction so that means you also have to understand that when calcium carbonate that will decompose then product will be calcium carbon dioxide sorry calcium oxide and carbon dioxide okay now yeah. question is that you just have to write everything whatever is given 5 gram was calcium carbonate then there was 2.2 gram of carbon dioxide okay? okay they are asking that when there will be 8.8 .8 carbon dioxide then what will be calcium carbonate so as usual you can see that the amount of carbon dioxide that is increasing in next stage huh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so it is increasing that means less to more and here you can also understand that amount of carbon calcium carbonate that will also increase or not yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well. that means less to more here will also be okay now again oh. you can apply yeah means if you want to understand again then give me one second i'm explaining again that to you before that i have to erase the arrow sign over there Two point two gram of carbon dioxide that contains okay that comes from five gram of okay so eight point eight gram of carbon dioxide you can receive by maximum amount of carbon dioxide or not so calcium carbonate yeah yeah that's why I am doing that firstly the amount was less now they are asking for more less to wait hold on less to more and less to more now the simple condition is that you just have to write their arrow head head to tail x over 5 equals to 8.8 .8 over 2.2 .2. okay oh okay understand that yeah, yeah. And then five you can transfer on the other side, and then uh, when you simplify this one, then it will be x equals to 8.8 .8 divided by 2.2 .2 multiplied by 5 or not? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
yes and then you can simplify that when you are simplified then decimal to decimal will be cancelled 11 twos are 22 11 eights are 88 2 ones are 2 2 fours are 8 and 5 fours are you'll get 20 okay therefore x equals to 20 gram understand yeah it is your answer do you understand clearly uh yes yeah. Your class is also recording, but after your class, I'll upload that on my channel. You just have to go through there, and any time that you can see that one, just increase your efficiency. Okay, yeah. so should I change the next page? Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was the it was the kind of example in which one that uh, we are finding the mass of either reactant or product okay yeah so i am refreshing that and our next page yes now there is more calculating uh, more reacting mass calculation the mass of product or reactant can be calculated using the balance equation also okay mm -hmm. using the balance equation also so firstly whatever statement will be given to you <laughs> you just have to write your equation related to that and then you have to balance that and then you can solve so we can ap apply these rules to the first question I means you can see that the rule that is also given over here yeah i am reading a little bit so that means firstly write down the balance balance symbol equation underline the two substances which you are interested in to get write the given mass of the substances under its formula work out the total relative formula mass total relative formula mass that means with respect to carbon trial that means uh, what is the relative more relative mass relative mass that means the mass of the substance with respect to carbon trial okay or you can yeah. also understand that relative mass wait uh, relative mass relative mass equals to it is defined as the ratio of the mass of substance substance upon 1 by 12 1 by 12 of mass of carbon 12 c12 okay yeah. yeah so it is your fundamental formula beta so means basically you have to understand that what you are <coughs> whatever will be the mass of a substance whose relative mass you want to find out you just have to you just have to divide that by the mass of carbon 12 and then you will get the relative mass of that substance okay yeah, yeah. now also yeah they are asking that uh, work out for the total relative molecular mass for each substances okay the one you know and the one you are trying to find out oh yes that's right 
because that one thing that will be given and the other one that you have to find out and the fourth step calculate unknown mass so a little bit formula that they are also giving here unknown mass equals to known mass divided by total molecular mass okay or relative mole, relative formula of mass you can also understand in this way so here we can do the question then you can understand a little bit more efficiently calculate the mass of iron that can be extracted from 8 gram of iron oxide in the reaction of Fe2O3 okay um, wait I am going to refresh the entire because then we can open all the questions relevant oh yes yeah so here calculate the mass of iron that can be extracted from Fe2O3 in the reaction of carbon so Fe2O3 yeah first step will be what firstly you have to write your reaction when Fe2O3 that will react with carbon okay so 100% that you will get that Fe that will extract it because that is metal beta and carbon and oxygen will combine to get carbon dioxide okay yeah mm -hmm. yes now when you will complete your reaction then you have to write that they are giving 5 gram of iron oxide so 5 gram you are seeing here okay and yeah. they are asking that calculate the mass of iron that can be extracted from 5, 5 8 gram of Fe2O3 so 8 gram when it means fundamental first you have to write fundamental that is given when there will be 8 gram of iron oxide then you have to calculate that your amount of iron and when there will be twice into 860 that means uh, it is you know that how they are getting 360, 320 320 they are getting that they are finding the atomic mass of iron oxide okay they are getting the atomic mass of iron oxide iron oxide atomic mass that you can get there here you can see that iron oxide what is the atomic mass of iron do you have any periodic table uh, yeah actually I have the periodic table yes just open the periodic table okay. and you can tell me the mass of iron from there yeah, the mass of iron would be um, atomic number that will be given downwards and atomic mass that will be given in the same box upward okay yeah yeah it's 55.847 yes so here is given fe fe2 O3. What does it mean? It means that when you will find the atomic mass of this compound, then it will be twice of Fe plus thrice of O. Okay. So you can also write that 3 into oxygen 16 <coughs> and uh, Fe that is what you are saying that 55 point 55.847 uh, I think yeah. that 55.8 that you can take or if you want to take a little bit round off so I think 56 
you it will be so twice of 56 plus 16 3 is a 48 so how much it will be 56 to the 56 to the 112 that means it will be 112 plus 48 it will be 160 and then 160 is the real atomic mass of this one you can see that in your reaction you are multiplying that by 2 or not yeah yeah, yeah you are. so in the same way that you have to multiply it by 2 then you will get 320 okay gram yeah. yeah so that means firstly 8 gram they are asking and 320 gram they are giving okay so in 320 gram firstly you have to write fundamental by your reaction when there will be 320 gram of iron oxide then you are getting 4 into Fe <coughs> that is 4 into 56 okay 4 into 56 so 320 320 gram there will be then there is 4 into 56 that is 224 if there will be 8 gram then how much will be so on one side that you can write that Fe Fe2 O3 and on other side you can write there this Fe then you can apply your proportion rule in proportion rule you have to write your quantities over there so firstly in this type of question we will write fundamental with respect to your equation so you can clearly see that you will use this quantity and this quantity firstly because they are given fundamentally with respect to your given equation so that means you can write there 320 gram of Fe203 will produce 224 gram of iron okay and now they are asking that when there will be 8 gram of okay then how much Fe so you can consider as X so when the amount was 320 then the amount of Fe that was 224 when the amount of Fe203 that will be 8 then the amount of Fe that will be less or not yeah 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 so that means you can write there arrow sign more to less and also here more to less okay that means yeah. it is directly proportional so when it will be directly proportional then we just have to write that up to down that means it will be firstly you can we can we generally use to write that x values there so that means x head to tail x by 224 equals to uh, head to tail 8 upon 320 okay yeah and uh, therefore x equals to 8 upon 320 multiplied by 224 okay yeah i just calculate that and tell me that what will be your answer uh okay 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 wait i'm telling you because I think that in your school calculator will be allowed. So, 8 ones are 8, 8 fours are 32, 0, 40, and uh, 4 tens are 40, 4 fives are 20, 4 six are 24, it will be 56 by 10. So, you can also write that when any number will be divided by I need 10 or multiple of 10 so how many zeros will be there you have to place your decimal that digit before 
okay so here you are seeing that one zero is there so your answer will be 5.6 clear oh, oh yes, 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 yes. yeah 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 i got 5.6 yes do you understand clearly yeah yeah great so oh, uh, uh sir yeah uh, I, um my sister is calling me i don't know why she but i think it's an emergency can i go oh okay okay please 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 take your time yeah i yeah i don't know why she's calling hold on okay okay no problem please take your time i'm waiting Sorry, she needed, she needed a help with uh, something. Sorry, I felt her. Oh, uh, it's okay, everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, yeah everything is okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, so do you understand this one, Bita? How they are getting that? Yeah. How I'm getting it? Miss, firstly, you have to write your, when this type of question they will ask, calculate the mass of iron, that can be extracted from this gram of this reacted with reaction with carbon. So when reaction word will come, then you have to understand that firstly you have to write your reaction, then you have to balance that and then whatever information they are giving you have to write down and then what they are asking you also have to write down and then you have to work out to get your final answer. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Good. So now I'm going to refresh again. Give me a second. Now let's move to the next page. Next, there is a mole calculation in solution. Okay, so okay. mole calculation that means if you are taking mole calculation that means how many number of moles that will be in the given solution then you will be able to understand that one then and how you will be and then you will be able to get that number of moles that means amount of substance okay. Okay. Number of moles, that means amount of substance. And then, you can calculate the amount of substance in the solution if you know the volume and concentration. Yes, definitely. We suppose that if the volume and concentration of the solution that will be given to you, then you can find the number of moles in that solution. Okay? Yeah. yeah. You can also work out the concentration of an acid reacting with an alkali or vice versa. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Concentration, amount of solute, and the volume of solution are linked by the equation. Yeah. You can see that concentration in mole per decimeter cube that is defined as amount in mole divided by volume in decimeter cube okay yeah it is the formula okay concentration oh. yeah concentration that you can 
find out that amount in moles divided by volume in decimeter cube understand yeah this equation can be rearranged to find the amount of solute or volume of solution okay yeah divide the volume yeah and when you will get the volume then you can divide your volume into centimeter cube by 1000 to convert that in volume into dm cube okay yeah yes so let's do a little bit question that's are given here one or two question me suppose that in calculating concentration first question which you are seeing on your screen 0.5 mole of solute is dissolved in 350 cm cube of solution you can also understand that that means so 0.5 mole of sugar that is dissolved in 250 cm cube of water okay now they yeah. are asking that what is your concentration so concentration in this type of question you can directly apply your formula that means uh, concentration equals to number of moles upon volume of solution okay okay uh, yeah so that means uh, it will be 0.5 divided by 250 okay okay so, oh wait 250 cm cube that was given oh sorry it was given cm cube so first of all we have to convert that in decimeter cube okay yes okay. so 250 cm cube so 1 cm if you want to convert cm cube into decimeter cube then you have to do you have to divide that by 1000 okay so it will be 0.25 decimeter cube here and 0.5 that is given number of mole and the formula of concentration that is concentration formula that means uh, number of moles of solute to the number of moles of solution okay number means a volume of solution so moles that's are 0.5 beta and then uh, volume that is you are getting that 0.25 then you have to divide both and you will get 2 so that means 2 mole per dm cube that will be your concentration do you understand that yes yeah. mm -hmm. again i am repeating that beta if you want to un calculate fundamental concentration of any substance then there is a basic formula of concentration that means number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution simple okay okay yeah so in this way you will be able to get your answer understand yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. next question is calculating amount of solute okay amount of solute and uh, so that means that uh, any two quantities that will be given to you so amount of solute that means number of moles of solute that they are talking about so in this way that amount that will be concentration into volume okay okay concentration into volume so calculate the amount of solute yeah the question is calculate the amount of solute dissolved in 2 dm cube of 1 0.1 mole per dm cube so solution so here you can see that um, its concentration is given and its volume is given so volume multiplied by concentration that means 2 multiplied by 0.1 so we'll get that 
so 0 0.2 that will be the amount of solute okay yes yeah simple that's the basic thing amount that is 0 0.1 times 2 that is 0 0.2 mole per dm cube do you understand that yeah, yeah. And by the same formula that if you want to get volume and concentration and amount of substance or amount of solute that is given to you then you can apply the formula volume equals to amount divided by concentration okay yeah okay yeah so amount divided by concentration so here you can see that another type of question calculate the volume of 2 mole per dm cube solution it's, it is given your concentration and that contains 0.5 mole of solute okay okay so means uh, it is given here volume beta and concentration sorry amount okay volume of this volume is given and number of moles are given you have to find out uh, no what i am saying that to you two mole per dm cube that is given concentration and 0.5 mole of solute that is given amount of mole then you have to find your volume so basically the same thing you have to do that volume equals to amount divided by concentration okay so amount that is 0.5 and a concentration that is 2 mole per dm cube so 2 divided by 0.5 so decimally will be 20 5 4 is 20 so 4 dm cube that will be your yes 25 0.5 divided by 2 0.25 dm cube okay so dm cube that is given beta when you will multiply that okay 25 dm cube when you will multiply that by 1000 then you will get that 250 centimeter cube that will be your volume clear okay yeah. so basically what you have to learn here one formula yeah just see that finally one formula that is concentration concentration equals to miss mole of solute upon volume volume of solvent volume of solution oh okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it is your formula so by this formula whatever any two value that will be given by transformation okay or by cross multiplication mm -hmm. you will be able to find the third value over there okay okay that means you can also understand the first formula that is concentration equals to mole of solute divided by volume of solution then if you want to get mole of solute mole of solute equals to then you can see that concentration will be multiplied by volume or not yeah yeah yeah, yeah. concentration multiplied by volume yeah so it is your second formula and third one if you want to get the volume of solution volume of solution then you just also have to apply a transformation that means volume will go upward and concentration will come downwards so the formula and in this case that will be mole of solute divided by concentration 
Oh. I understand. Oh, okay, okay, so that's like, like, would that be like the formula-ish? Or what is, like... Yeah, there is a formula. Only you just have to understand that which formula you have to apply. It means, basically, just learn your formula and whatever two values that will be given to you, you just have to plug in that one and then you will be able to get that third one. Okay. Simply. Right. simply. Also, okay. one more important thing, don't forget to convert all of your quantities into their standard form, okay? That means concentration unit that is your uh, means uh, mole per dm cube okay okay yeah if anything that will be given in dm cube then you can divide that by 1000 to convert that into centimeter cube okay okay yes means because that why i'm telling you this one because when you have to get your volume okay so in that condition when you will get your volume so their uh, concentration will be given in dm cube okay so first yeah. You, yeah firstly you will apply your formula and then you will get your volume in dm cube okay okay yeah yeah and when you will get your volume in dm cube like here uh, wait where is my pen yeah so when you will get your answer in dm cube means uh, one dm cube equals to one thousand centimeter cube okay okay that's why you can see that they are getting a 20.0.25 okay dm cube was there so you can do that as 0.25 multiplied by 1000 okay and then you'll get 250 over there centimeter cube clear yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. understand beta yeah, yeah. I understand. right so now They are also saying that concentration can be also expressed. Yeah, but a concentration simply you can understand that if any solution is given to you, then how many number of solute will be there in your given solution? That is known as the concentration. You can also understand in this way. Suppose that if your mom would like to ask you to prepare sugar solution okay okay so firstly that you will take a little bit amount of sugar and a little bit amount of water and then you would like to mix that and when sugar will disappear from your water then you will say that yes now it's sugar solution is prepared okay but suppose that in your previous time now a little bit me suppose that previously that you were adding 100 gram of sugar okay yeah, yeah. 200 ml of water okay 200 okay. ml of water so uh, if you will divide that then it will tell you about concentration over there Okay, so that means concentration, that means amount of solute divided by volume of solution. Okay, that's the basic formula which I told you just before. And secondly, uh, now suppose that there are few from more guests. They came, they had visited to your place and then your mom will say to you, Okay, Sana, just go to kitchen and prepare a little bit more uh, sugar solution. So, what will you do? Suppose that there will be a little bit uh, 
miss amount of sugar solution that had been remained okay when you served the first yeah. cast okay so then what will you do you will go and then you will increase the amount of sugar in that sugar solution or not yeah yeah i, yeah, I do and also a little bit amount of water also you will increase there okay uh -huh. so that means if you are increasing the amount of sugar so what you are doing you are increasing the concentration concentration that means the number of solute that you are dissolve you are increasing okay yeah, yeah. understand yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and so concentration is also depend on the volume of solution okay yeah yes if volume that can be less then the concentration will be maximum okay yeah, yeah. if volume will be less then concentration will be maximum although it is also depend on miss although i am saying that concentration is totally depend on uh, the amount of uh, miss solution but yeah because that if the amount of solution that will be maximum then you can add the large amount of solute in that one huh? yeah. yeah and if the concentration that will be less or if you if there will be less if there will be least amount of uh, uh, volume then you will be bound to add a little bit very least amount of solute okay mm -hmm. suppose that you have only one glass of water then you you are bound to add a little bit only one or two two teaspoon or three two spoon of sugar in that one to make salt sugar solution okay yeah yep. but just imagine that if you have water of uh, one bucket then so if you have water of one bucket then 100% that you will increase the quantity of sugar over there or not yeah, yeah. so that is known as yeah and a little bit if the ratio of amount of solute if the ratio of solute means ratio of sugar to the volume of water that will be more okay so that means mm -hmm. the concentration is increasing okay yeah, yeah. means i explain a little bit in deep manner but fundamentally that do you understand all that that is given in here yeah yes please oh, i'm sorry what i'm asking that uh, are you able to understand what word that i explain that to you on this page or what word that is given in this page yeah 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 i understand great that's right so now here you can see that uh this one is given mole per dm cube that is given your concentration and uh, yes gram per dm cube that is also concentration so concentration can also be expressed in gram per decimeter cube okay to convert okay. to different unit of concentration use the relative formula mass so what does it mean it means that if your value is given in mole per decimeter cube that means mole per dm cube okay and you want to convert that into gram per dm cube okay so what yeah. you have to do that you can multiply that you can multiply that by yeah mr okay or relative molecular mass okay yeah of that substance okay yep and also if you want to con 
and if gram per dm cube that is given okay if yeah, gram yeah. yeah the next step is if gram per dm cube that is given you have to convert from this one to mole per dm cube then you can divide that okay divide that by mr understand yes yes clear it beta mm -hmm. yeah. yeah great so now <coughs> come to the next one i am going to refresh that beta And there are many other type of questions, but uh, other concepts are also there in stoichiometry. But fundamentally, that we started from today, and then we will go through all the. Oh yes, and percentage yield, beta. Percentage yield that means yield obtained upon theoretical yield multiplied by a hundred. I think that I have to explain it in your next class. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Because beta, it is a new type of concept. Okay. I will explain you into in is after tomorrow. Till then, what will I explain that to you? Within one hour, that your class will upload it to my channel. You can go there and try to understand that. What will I explain that? If the same type of question that will be given in your book. just try to solve all of them okay and if there will be any problem then i'll explain that in your class okay okay so thanks for today beta have a great time and greetings to your parents thank you bye bye all right thank you sir bye, bye.